the McDonnell criteria, um, or in particular what we call the 2017 McDonnell criteria, um, are essentially guidelines we use to help us diagnose multiple sclerosis. Um, and they've evolved over the years, and so the 2017 criteria are the most uh, recent ones. Um, and the core part of the McDonnell criteria is that we have to show that someone has had um, lesions or inflammation in their central nervous system, so their brain or their spinal cord, um, in different parts of the central nervous system and at different times. So the, the key sort of phrase that, phrase that gets used is we need to show dissemination in space and time. And so people have to have symptoms um, of this inflammation in the central nervous system. Um, and when we examine them, we need to show that they have um, sort of signs that go along with that as well. Um, and, and that it happens at different points and at different times. However, we can diagnose someone with multiple sclerosis after just one episode, so what we call one relapse. Um, and we use certain tools as well to help diagnosis, so we can use MRI imaging, and that can show that um, the lesions are happening in different parts of the brain and spine, and even at different times, either because new ones are coming up or because when we give dye with the scan, some light up and some don't. And then another tool we can use to help diagnose is perform a lumbar puncture take some of the spinal fluid of the person and see if it's got something called oligoclonal bands in. So these are proteins that are pro produced uh, when there's inflammation in the brain and spine. And that can help give further evidence um, that the, the diagnosis is multiple sclerosis. So these um, uh, criteria essentially give us guidelines um, to make the diagnosis and start treatment as soon as possible. Um, to prevent further clinical episodes.